Hello guys, Satyajit Patnaik here and welcome back to my channel. Uh, in this video, we shall be talking about the basics of activation functions and what are the various activation functions. In the previous video, you must have gone through the basics of neural networks. What is the intuition behind the ANN, how neural network works and the basics of all the concepts. But yeah, from today's video, we shall be deep diving into the activation functions. And in the next video, I'll be talking about the various neural networks in deep, deep learning. Now, what is an activation function? As the name defines, activation functions basically calculates a weighted sum of its inputs add bias and then decides whether it should be fired or not. So as the name suggests activation functions, it has to be activated. That means based on some functions, some of the neurons will be activated or not. Okay, so for that, there are multiple activation functions which are used in multiple uh, hidden layers. So if we are defining four hidden layers, there shall be four different activation functions. It could be one specific function used in all the hidden layers, or it could be four different activation functions as well. Okay, so as I already told you, activation functions calculates a weighted sum of its input, adds bias, and then decides whether it should be fired or not. The various activation functions are step function, linear, sigmoid, tan h, relu. We shall be going through all of these in the future videos. Today's video, we will be sticking to the step function part. So what is step function? Now step function is something like, let's consider a threshold based activation function that activates based on a threshold value. Now, as you can see in this particular image, when the X axis is zero, then my Y axis is zero. That means when X is zero, my Y is zero. But when the X is more than zero, that means greater than zero, then the Y is one. So it looks like this, very easy to interpret. So it's something like this. So this is zero and this is one. That means Y is equal to zero when X equals to zero and y equals to one when x greater than zero. So I don't know what the values are. It could be one, two, three, any finite number. When x is having any finite number, that's where y is equal to one. That means based on these criteria, your, your threshold value here is one. Sorry, threshold value is zero, right? Because based on this value, my activation function is activated. My y is one, right? So activation functions A equals to activated of Y greater than threshold uh, else not. As simple as that. So the output is one when value is greater than zero, that is the threshold and output is zero when the value is less than zero, right? The Some of the examples of uh, using step function, step function is honestly speaking, it's one of the basic functions, not much used in real world in real world, we use sigmoid functions, we use ReLU functions, Stanage functions, but step function is just for concepts. We need to understand what is a step function. You can use it, you cannot use it, it up, it's up to you, but majorly it is used for binary classification problems. But the only drawback with step function is that, let's say you are using step function in a uh, multi-class problem. Let's say you have multiple classes like cats, dogs, and horses. Okay, so the only drawback is that what happens when more than one neuron is activated? In that case, multiple neurons will have one and predicting an output to be a problem, mostly in the multi-class classification. I'm giving you a small example. Let's say I have my inputs and here I have my hidden layer. Let's define just one hidden layer and this is my output. Okay, something like this. So definitely if I'm using a step function here based on something, it will tell me that whether it is one or zero, right? If I have multiple classes here, let's say class one, class two and class three, that means this is for cat, this is for horse, and this is for dog. Now, if both the neurons are activated, that means this is also one and this is also one. So how can we distinguish whether it's a cat or a horse? 
right so that is the reason step functions are not used in multi class classification problems that's the drawback with step function majorly it is used in the binary classification problem okay so that's it about step function in the next video we shall be talking about linear functions and the other functions like sigmoid functions steinitz functions and all those things thank you guys thanks for watching and uh, please subscribe the channel if you haven't subscribed yet thank you